Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby snack number 54, install SSL certificate on Ubuntu running Apache. In this episode, I'll show you what worked for me. I was actually rekeying my CSR and my SSL certificate. This presentation will include additional steps for first time install as well as some notes on when I deviated from what people recommended. You'll learn how to generate a CSR, request certificates from your provider, install certificates on the server, and update Apache config for SSL. If you'd like to code along, you need to have a server deployed. My configuration is Ubuntu 14.04, Apache 2, and SSL provided by GoDaddy. First up, whether you're rekeying or making a brand new SSL certificate, you need to SSH into your server and navigate to a folder where you will store the SSL files. Now folks recommend generating the CSR here in ETC Apache 2 SSL private, but that didn't really work for me. I made my own folder and put some security measures on that. Wherever you decide to put it, this is the command that you'll need. Just be sure that after key out, you change your domain to match what your domain name is. It needs to match what your provider has. And then after out, also change it so it's named your domain .csr. Then it'll ask you a bunch of questions and you'll need to answer those. The most important being that the common name needs to match your domain name. Once it's complete, you'll cat your domain .csr so that you can copy it into the request for your provider. Opening up your terminal, go ahead and SSH into your server. And as I said, I'm gonna go ahead and make a directory that will work for me, and I'm gonna call it SSL. And that's gonna be right there at home. And now I'm going to CD into it. And now I'm going to paste in the command to create our CSR. So let's go ahead and change the first one after key out. And I did this for a site called arting.com. It's kind of an older site. And now I'm going to name the CSR the same, arting.com. And hit enter. So now it starts to ask you questions. I'm gonna fill it in for me. We're in the US, in New York. I'm just gonna say Brooklyn. Organization name, Arting Inc and I don't have a unit name. Now here's the common name. This is what you need to be sure to put in correctly. Everything else is kind of optional. And then you put in your email address. I don't put in a password and it's done. Now you can cat the new file just created and now we're gonna copy that so that we're ready for the next step. You can request your SSL certificate and you follow the directions for your provider on how to request the certificate. And now I'm gonna show you how to rekey a certificate on GoDaddy. Okay, we've navigated to the SSL management section and we're gonna rekey. And then you need to paste in your CSR here and you say save. Okay, it's saved, but there's one more place to save it. You submit all save changes. And now it's requesting the certificate. Now that takes a moment, so let's go ahead and move on to securing the files. Make sure that your sensitive files are safe on the server. We're gonna change the ownership and then we're gonna change the level of security. So back in our terminal, we're gonna go ahead and change the ownership to root for our key file. Oh, and don't forget to add sudo, that's important. Can't change the ownership without that, so you'll need your password. And then do the same thing for the CSR file and then we're going to change the security, change mod to 600 for again, both the key file and the CSR file. And now we're going to exit because the next step is from your local computer. Once that certificate is ready, you download the certificate from your provider and then you upload it to the server. Again, folks recommend placing them in the ETC Apache 2 SSL folder That didn't work so much for me. I'm gonna put that in that folder that I made. I use SCP to upload files to a server. On your computer, sometimes I forget this is on your computer, SCP where you have saved that file, 
and then deploy at IP address where you want the file. Generally, there will be two files. It'll be the actual certificate and then an intermediate certificate. So you'll need to put both of those on the server. So I've got my command all ready to go. I'm uploading into that SSL directory. So I do it for the certificate and then for the intermediate certificate. Next, you'll need to edit the Apache configuration if needed. If you're keen, you need to update the names of the files. You saw that the GoDaddy had all these lovely letters and numbers for the certificate. And now if it's new, you need to add a new virtual host and that's gonna redirect permanent to the HTTPS, meaning secure, for your domain name. And if you're new, you're gonna change the current virtual host 80 to 443, that's for SSLs. And you're gonna leave all of it the same, except you're gonna add in these four lines. SSL engine on, SSL certificate file, and then the path to your CRT, then SSL certificate key file, the path to your key, and then SSL CA certificate file for your intermediate certificate. So now I need to SSH back into the server. I'm going to go ahead and just double check that those files are there and that they have the correct permissions, and they do. Now I'm going to CD into ETC Apache 2, sites available, and then I'm going to open up the config for the site I'm working on. So that's arding.com. And this is from a file that didn't quite do it like I said, and because it's a little older, not what people are doing now. But I just wanted to show you the four lines and they are under virtual host 443. Next, you need to test your config and enable the SSL if it's new. So make sure the config can run, that you didn't mistype something and it doesn't know where the files are. So you run Apache 2 CTL config test. If that comes up okay, then you move on. If this is a new setup, you'll need to enable the mod SSL. So that's sudo a2 en mod SSL. Then everybody restarts Apache 2. You could also reload and see if that works as well. All right, back in my terminal, I've checked out the configuration and it says okay. So now I'm going to restart. And as long as it says okay, you're ready to go. Finally, let's double, triple check that everything is working by going to a site that has an SSL checker. It will make sure that your certificates are all up to date and working. So here we are on the site. I'm going to go ahead and put in arding.com and run it. And then we'll scroll on down. And I like to see all these green check marks. All the chains are working correctly. That's it for this Ruby snack. If you're not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to do so. And if you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, click that big red button. You get the episodes just a little bit before everyone else. If you have any comments or questions, it's best to leave that on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.